good watching Hurley Films. What's up, everybody? This is Adam with Hurley Films. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I am uh, having a good day. Right now, we uh, got some fun things going on at the house, and I hope you can see behind me. But I went into town, I went into Edmond to the Great Plains Kubota, and they have an entire fleet of vehicles there that are going to help the activities that we got going on right now. So out at the house, we've got the inside pretty much finished. It's it's pretty much finished, to the, so much to the point that I actually rented a Penske truck for this weekend and yeah we're gonna go get stuff out of storage and attempt to move in so the outside starts to uh, begin to need to be addressed the outside of our house we have we had to build it up you know that's where that pond came from that's over on Austin's property now we had to dig all of that dirt out in order for the house to be on a level platform. There's things that I wish I would have done differently now, but you know, hindsight's 2020, and maybe later we can actually do that. But we just pulled on. I'm on the dirt road right now, headed towards the house, so I'm only a few minutes away. But Larry has been there. Our friend Larry, who lives out here in Wellston, he's been out on the property the past two-ish days with an excavator and a uh, bulldozer and a dump trailer. And he's been hauling loads of dirt up to the house over and over and over again. Cause we're trying to feather out that hill that our house essentially sits on. So when we go to mow it later, we won't be mowing it on a death trap <laughs> because it'll, the incline would be like 45 degrees. So we are uh, just taking a bunch of dirt up there. And I thought, hey, you know, we have to get dirt from somewhere, so why not make another pond, right? I mean, if we're gonna do this, I mean, fishing is a great excuse to get another pond. Uh, I, I mean, the dirt, I mean the dirt, that's what we're doing this for, not, not for fishing. I can see it from right here, he's gotten a lot of dirt moved over there, so this is gonna be an excellent tool to just kinda help get it kinda smoothed out right there at the end. And um, I'm looking forward to getting in and playing with some toys. Uh, the post office put out a stake for us uh, telling us, hey, you need to get a mailbox. <laughs> because we started getting mail and things out here. And well, it's kind of hard for them to deliver any kind of mail if they do not have a mailbox. So that was their gentle, kind way of saying, hey, get your mailbox. <laughs> Um, so I've got that, and I also had Great Plains give me an auger, an 8-inch auger, so we could put in a mailbox post, and uh, we'll get that stuff put in as well. But we're about to come around the corner here. Larry's over here just pushing dirt around, so let's go. Uh, let's go see what he's got going on over here. <laughs> It looks really good. There's just some finesse stuff to be done, which that's what this is going to be really good at. But first, we're going to get this off here, get the drill uh, and this concrete off here, and then go down to the pile of dirt, this topsoil that Larry scraped so we can load it up in the dump truck and bring it up here and dump so I'll have some extra to go pull from as we uh, get going. So let's get this thing off here. Guys, we are so 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 close to being able to move into the new house and i cannot be more excited than i am because it is it's so close but it's also yet so far away 
But you know what? We've come this far and gone through so much other stuff that it's going to be... I mean, it, it's just so close. With this stuff from GP Rents, we were able to accomplish everything that I had to get done on the outside of the house before moving in, basically except for getting the sod down. And that was awesome. Um, Larry had his stuff here, which also helped a ton. Having a big excavator to dig this pond out was invaluable. And he did a great job helping us get everything ready. But the skid steer was just a nice added finesse tool. So we got a pond now, a little, it's not a big pond, it's a little pond. Maybe even qualifies as mud hole. But down here in the bottom, we're gonna be about six or seven feet deep from where the drain pipe is. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, it'll be a cool little fishing hole, you know? Get some perch in here, some sunfish, good stuff like that. Outside of the fact that driving a skid steer and moving dirt around is just a ton of fun, it is also, like I said, if, if I could have any piece of equipment for a farm, it'd be a skid steer. That would be it. And I mean, it, there's a reason they cost so much money and it's because they can like literally do anything that you need them to do. Um, I've even seen attachments that are good at uh, feeding out hay uh, by a company I've shot videos for called Hustler Equipment. They have this implement that goes onto the front with bale spikes and a chain fed drive uh, hay dispenser. <laughs> it's, it's like there's anything that a skid skier can do and it will, it, until I find something else, this is my favorite tool to be used on the farm and I wish I could afford one. Such quick work. I mean, it's just, it's easy. Skid steers are the best. There's the last, the last load of dirt from out here. So we got a, a pretty, a, just a small pond. It's deep. Um, water will probably come to somewhere about that big chunk right there. But it's going to be under this tree, so we'd be able to put something over here, like a bench or something to sit on the fish or just to sit here and look at it. Um, just a cool spot. And then, we dug a hole right here that's just going to kind of be the burn pile. Uh, I'm going to start bringing stuff down here and filling this hole. And eventually we'll burn it down enough to where this hole just fills up. Um, so that's going to be good. But this skid steer from GP Rents, it's awesome. <laughs> just the amount of work we just got done. And it's not only saves me money because we're saving money by not having to pay somebody to do some of the operation but it's also that I don't have to maintain this thing. Like when I'm done with this tomorrow, I'm gonna take it back and I'm done. And I'm done, I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> Not like any of our other equipment that breaks and we have to have fun dealing with that. So uh, let's get up here and start smoothing stuff out. With day one coming to a close and a nice beautiful sunset, I was able to actually get in here with the skid steer and get kind of the last few things done, which mainly was just kind of smoothing out all of the other work that the bulldozer had done. Like I said, the skid steer is kind of like uh, the paintbrush, where the bulldozer is more like the uh, the throw the paint on <laughs> on the canvas uh, tool. So this was really awesome to have, and got in there that afternoon with the skid steer and was able to wrap it up and get ready for the next day's activities was getting our mailbox put in. So I also rented this auger from GP Rents and it was so awesome to have the right tool for the right job. Because if you've ever used post hole diggers, uh, yeah, I actually have an allergy to them. I, uh, I, I, I break out in hives all over. Okay, here we are on our, uh, this is the county road that we live on. And uh, USPS came and dropped the stake right here where they want us to put our mailbox. So I got this auger attachment from GP Rents with the skid steer so I can drill this hole right now. And then I need to get on the road so I can get this back to them for the day. But this thing, we got all the stuff done on the house and we're about to get this done with it. So it's been awesome having this for even just a day, like really a day and a half being able to use it to get things done. 
but let's get this thing drilled so we can get it back to them and uh, get on with everything else that we have going on in our life. So what are we lacking on moving into the house? Well, we've got water, we've got electricity, we've got heating. We don't have an air conditioner yet because waiting on, well, Matt, like I've told you before, my friend Matt, he's actually gone into the police academy. So he's kind of got some limited availability, but he told me that he'd get to us when he gets the time. So I'm not worried about it. And the weather's great. So we don't really even need one. And we live in a giant cooler. <laughs> so it, the temperature stays pretty dang steady. I think our heater over the winter, even when it was bitter cold, only ran six hours in one day. So that's just incredible. <laughs> that was like the most it ran. But that, be, that being said, we have everything ready to move in. And this is kind of the last step. Uh, I wanna get the sod down because I don't know if you know how this red clay works with uh, children. Um, it, 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 it sticks to them like as if they were magnetized. And then they bring it inside, which causes the wife to have, uh, how should I say, uh, conniptions. Uh, it also gets to me, so we're close to moving in, and that's all I can really think about right now is getting moved in and waking up the first time in the house and looking out the front window. So excited. Let's check out our hole here. Oh yeah. That'll do. Now I just got to bring the concrete stuff down here get it set I think we may have just enough time to go put the other bucket back on here and carry the post and the concrete down here so we don't have to do it with our hands <laughs> got the shovels this last one that made me feel cool Ooh, I should probably take the drill and maybe the circular saw all things and it's not there wait there it is. So we need a battery. All right. Got the saw. Also, we had a casualty. Josie, her brand new Strider bike. It was, Let's just say a lesson was learned today why we don't leave things out in the field while daddy's working with heavy equipment. I feel really bad, really bad. But also at the same time, you do have to learn lessons sometimes. Um, I told her I would buy her a new one because I'm a sucker. <laughs> Larry said I was a sucker. He was out here just a minute ago uh, moving his moving his stuff out because he's going to be coming and loading it all up tomorrow. He did a great job. But yes, I am a sucker when it comes to my daughter. For, if it was Hurley for some reason, it's a, it's a daughter thing. I don't know. Um, I'd probably buy Hurley a new one too just because I'd feel bad. But yeah, I'm a sucker. So all of you that say I need to let them learn their lessons, you're probably right, but I'm a sucker. Patience is a virtue that is uh, probably learned best when building a house because everything goes slower than you think it will. Even down to just getting your tools together for every little project. That's the thing that also just annoys me the most is because I've not been very good about taking something and putting it back somewhere where I can find it again. But we did go through the shop the other day and we did clean everything out and we did put stuff on pallets so we could move it around. That was an invaluable time. It's a beautiful day. It's like 75 degrees today. I'm actually sweating instead of freezing to death. We made it over the sketchiest place, which was the, uh, the bridge there, so. Let's just go get this thing installed now.
All right, we got everything, I think. So let's get this thing in the ground. I'm gonna set you guys up here on time lapse and get this thing done. If you haven't already, uh, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you uh, want to follow along with us getting ready to move into our house, like I said, go ahead, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Because, like I said, we're super close. But with this little project right here, wrapped up the time with the skid steer, and it was time to get it back in the city. Now you may be thinking to yourself, does Adam know how tall mailboxes are? Yes, yes I do. I just want to make it really hard for the postal workers. This, I will come back when it settles in here in a day. I probably even, maybe by the end of today, I'll come in and we'll cut it off at about here or so. You know, the appropriate height, whatever it is, I'll Google it. And then the rest of it uh, we'll use as a crossbar so we can install the mailboxes because this will hold Austin and my mailbox right here on this post. And then maybe if we ever get a mailing address for that house, maybe we can put another one. But this is where it'll go. And uh, that wasn't as bad as it uh, I thought it was going to be um, because of this. <laughs> that uh, literally took us an hour, which was awesome. So. Now I uh, need to go up. I should probably put one more cross, some one more brace, but I mean, that hole was level and all I had to do is just brace this thing. So um, that was awesome. Um, let's get back up to the house, put our tools away, get this thing loaded up and get it back into the yard at GP Rents. So hopefully the next video that you guys see is of us moving in, but that's for next time. Oh, and I got the bathtub working. Doesn't that look awesome? See you in the next video.